Nation is hosting their craft fair at the Turning Stone Resort Casino. For more on this event, we go to our new Eyewitness News reporter, Josh Riley. On Saturday, June 3rd, the Oneida Indian Nation will be hosting the American Indian Summertime Craft Fair at the Turning Stone Resort Casino. Derek Montroy, a member of the Oneida Indian Nation and a member outreach and advocacy coordinator for the Oneida Nation, was talking to me earlier about this weekend's exciting event. It's a free event at 9 to 5 on uh, this Saturday. We'd like to do this one to open up uh, the summertime. Starting at 9 a.m. and running till 5 p.m., the craft fair will be hosted in the event corridor. So we'll have nearly 50 vendors, um, and they'll come with their own supply of their artwork and other handmade items. The Haudenosaunee are typically known for their beadwork, uh, so a lot of artisans will have that, but there will be uh, pottery and paintings and uh, carvings, woodworking, uh, leatherworking, um, moccasins, so there will be uh, a lot. Also, starting at 10 a.m. and lasting until 3 p.m., there will be a social dance exhibition performed by Chris Thomas and his smoke dancers. Uh, so we'll have the social dance exhi exhibitions at 1 and 3. Um, typically, we do the smoke dance is a popular dance, uh, but there will be other Haudenosaunee dances, and that will be uh, typically around an hour. And for those who missed this weekend's craft fair, but still would like to purchase a piece of beautiful Oneida Nation art. Yeah, I'd like to play <laughs> the Oneida Heritage Store. Um, it's just, uh, it's down uh, downstairs next to the parlor. Uh, and that one's open from 11 to 7. And that has um, Oneida works of art. And if all this isn't enough to convince you that the American Indian Summertime Craft Fair Show is the place to be this weekend, have a listen to Derek's closing message. This event is really a, a great time for our community to come together um, and uh, kick off summer. Um, and a lot of friends and family come uh, to share their own works of art, and it's great to share it with the community. Reporting for Eyewitness News, I'm Josh Riley. Still to come tonight on Eyewitness.